So what do these concept of depth and defocus imply here? So here basically now I'm showing you this whole image. Because of the fact that things are at different distances uh, and the fact that I have optics and the sensor itself, any image I take will have this artifact, right? These objects are a little bit further away. They're out of focus. And this frame here, this part of it, that's in focus. So only a few specific planes, depending on the camera and the aperture and stuff like that, would be in focus. So this, in essence, is the artifact of a traditional camera system. We will always have uh, scenes at different depths. All of them will have different focus. And of course, the question comes up is, can we actually compute the depth just from knowing this focus planes that are different in this image. So depth from defocus basically is attempts to infer depth by analyzing the local scale. That is, how is much is the def, uh, difference in the frame itself or difference in the focus itself in local parts of the image and use that to compute a defocus blur. And if I actually can figure out the defocus blur, I can actually kind of claim, knowing the lens that I have, how far a certain object is. That's what basically you saw in the last example. The more I moved the object, I got a different blur out of it. Now, if I could actually create a relationship between this, I could actually start computing depth. We saw examples of that when we talked about computing depth from images in the lecture on stereo. But the bottom line is this is an extremely difficult and ill-posed problem because we actually have a tougher time of actually figuring out the calibration that will allow us to figure out how much defocus blur exists in different parts of the image that will allow us to then actually compute how far those objects are in that image. 